Then I also wanted to touch upon this news courtesy of Mixmag regarding another new club opening up in London. It feels like for some reason we have these little um, periods in London nightlife where a bunch of clubs will close, then a bunch will open, then a bunch will close, a bunch will open. My theory is that there's a lot more spaces free now, especially in the post-pandemic world, that are essentially in limbo because you know that that two years that we were all basically you know flat on our asses and stuck inside basically push back any sort of development or any sort of redevelopments and new builds and whatnot and i'm assuming some of these manufacturers and materials people whatever they may be that were tied in and contractors to do this type of stuff probably took on other bits of work so it probably put a pause on some of these projects that they were going to do here in london so a lot of these uh, landlords and maybe local councils and stuff have recognized a dip in some of the income that's coming through and just think of even parking ticket fines have probably gone down considerably in most places because people are not driving around anymore they probably sold their cars and not coming into the city or into the town or into the main strip anymore as they used to in the past there's not a lot of outside tourists coming in either maybe it's stuff to do with brexit i don't know what it is but i'm sure all those factors come working in conjunction have basically allowed these councils to be a little bit more relaxed in terms of allowing landlords to you know put forward like you know temporary flipping licenses and whatnot or maybe be allowed them to convert these empty spaces into quasi nightclubs or whatnot because i've seen a lot of that stuff happening the cause has got a similar space that they try basically using around the corner from where i live which is um it's like it used to be an, uh, an art gallery and now they've kind of turned it into a club bar record shop type thing so i wonder if there's something going because for the longest time it felt like they were very strict and stringent and very tight and rigid in terms of the spaces that they allowed you to use for a club it's all felt like you have to over, you have to take over an actual club itself but it feels like nowadays you can find an empty space like an art gallery or like a, a an ex news agent and whatever maybe got it out and turn it into a space that you can do with certain events here and there and make that work for a short period of time so it's pretty cool so anyway courtesy of mixed mag brand new nightclub opens up in south london called the ton of bricks which i love because it reminds me a little bit of what i said prior about um the Shannon Abloh article from the New York Times magazine where she said Virgil Abloh used to say to her that he loved her like a ton of bricks I think she got that tattooed somewhere in her wrist or something so that's what immediately made me think of it but I think the is maybe a bit worthy the ton of bricks maybe just call it ton of bricks that'd be absolutely amazing right ton of bricks is amazing but yeah let's go down it says here um the new nightclub is set to open up in Brixton this weekend from the teams behind Brixton Jam and Percolate. Oh my God, this is nice because I played once for at the Brixton Jam bar pub in South London for the open Dex thing and it was flipping fun. I had a great time, met some really cool people who I ended up, you know, being quote unquote friends with on Instagram. So that'd be awesome if I was able to get an opportunity to play there again. Who knows? Um, but continues on. And obviously Percolate, if I'm not mistaken, they're a house label out here in London or the UK and they do a lot of few nights as well if I'm not mistaken, also. Continues. Opening for the first time on Friday, December 9th, the Ton of Bricks on Colder, what's that, how do you say that? Cold Harbour Lane will feature weekly programming and adds to the new London venues with a 24-hour license. So similar to what we have here in, um, in Eastwood Fold, they're going to be able to open until 6, I'm assuming. Or some time, on some occasions, they'll be able to stay open from like the Saturday to Sunday, which is absolutely amazing. The club, just a short walk from Brixton Station, officially opens its door for the first time this Friday with a one-off Keep Hush event taking place tomorrow featuring Mixtress. The official launch party welcomes the likes of Hammer and Malika and Crywood and Faria on Friday, while Saturday sees David August performing a solo DJ set. Incredible. It was the beginning of 2019 when we first laid our eyes on this site, the Tunnel Bricks person Instagram, a venue with a 24 hour license in a buzzing part of Brixton. I'm actually going to go. I think I'm going to go this weekend actually to go check it out because I don't actually go to South too often. I think this might be a good opportunity to check it out. But, you know, it's going to be annoying because I'm going to take an Uber back and it's obviously going to be flipping 30 quid or something. But I'm going to I'm going to go. I'm going to check it out and see what the vibe is saying. Now, almost four years later, the, after the pandemic, no, four years later, featuring a pandemic and the planning hell, we are days away from being able to share what has been working on for this time. We'll be announcing our launch events later today. Also, they already were working on this prior to the pandemic, but I guess the pandemic put a hold on it and now they're launching it. Pretty cool. Um, the first names of this session, this season, sorry, events have been announced, including Otik, Bluetooth, um, Tosiki Ota, Meli D. Parallel and High Hops Takeover, which I mentioned prior. Uh, we'd like to announce our upcoming weekend of shows. 
I said in the following post on Thursday, starting next Friday, yes, next Friday, we'll be opening the club every weekend as we test our space with music from friends, new and old. Entry for each party currently scheduled is free. For the first 50 tickets sold on first come, first serve basis, check out the first run of shows at a ton of bricks here. And if you check out the Instagram, I want to see more of the inside and what the actual club looks like. Um, got here, you've got some, I guess, sound insulation, I'm assuming here with some windows i'm not so sure what the space is looking like how big it will be um what else have you got you've got another one here with loads of wood so it'll be a quite a warm feel to it maybe that's wood maybe that's decking i'm just sure if it's up or the down i'm not really too sure about this you've got some exposed brick because that's a quintessential london nightclub right um exposed brick wall we love a good exposed brick wall we love it and a good little bench you can probably sit on and stand on and you know throw some shapes as you're drowning yourself with your Jaeger master and whatnot. Um, someone says here there's a club. Okay, I don't know what this was. There's a club called 414. What's that? Is this where 414 was? Yeah, the former 414 building in Coast. Okay, cool. What's Club 414? I don't, because I don't go to South London. I don't know any idea about these places down there whatsoever. Let's see what Club 414 was in Brixton. I've never heard of it. Okay, so it closed in 2019. This place called Club 414. I'd never heard of it in my entire life because I'd never ever go South London so this is what it looked like on the inside so we've got a kind of an idea of what it kind of looked like in terms of the space so it kind of looks small in terms of capacity but I like that because it's going to be a nice intimate space the sound is going to be bouncing off of the walls and it's going to be an absolute vibe yeah I'm looking to, for it to go I'm definitely going to check it out let's go back to Instagram again and check it out so we've got that it's a blue on the outside there and then we've also got this picture here which features some artwork i guess or print they're going to be putting on the outside oh no this is some flies obviously showing with the event on friday hammer uh with Mali Ma Mal malaika crywood and farrah kaima kyle parsley and madeline and then on saturday they've got david august ty lucum claudia pure vinyl wasted space sunday Millie d all day long so yeah melody sorry and then another picture here with some more inside clips you got function one speakers obviously some nice lighting on there as well cool design you've got a picture here showing the sound i'm assuming let's play that oh some leds on the back that's nice that sort of reminds me a little bit of fold you know when the you know when the the, the blinds go down the light kind of spins through and they've got these little i think colored sheets that sort of bounce the light through so it looks like a kaleidoscope you got these little leds in the back okay cool Let's see what it looks like. I'm eager to see what it looks like when I go on the inside there. Check it out for sure, for sure, for sure. So that's the ton of bricks in Brixton, a new bar, intimate nightclub in Brixton, opening night of December. Uh, we've got a list of actually, let's see if the events actually listed on RA also to take a little peek of it and then we can move on. Yeah, keep hush event happening tomorrow. So that maybe have give us some more of an insight. So I'll definitely be, you know, creeping on the old Instagram to check out what the inside of it looks like there. Or maybe I'll just surprise myself and just go and see what the vibe is saying. David August event. And I think I'll probably end up going to this event there on a Friday just to see what the vibe is and mix it up from my usual East London haunts I go to. But it's a pretty much a stacked list of events that they've got there already all tied in there, which is pretty sick. Pretty, pretty cool. I like it. I like it, I like it, I like it, I like it. If in a team from the Brixton Jam and Percolate all doing this together, it's going to be nice to see the actual, they've got a website also, let's see the website, what that looks like. Have they got anything, other bits of information? Yeah, there you go, collaboration between Brixton Jam and Percolate, it's a ton of bricks coming December 2022. Cool to see, I love it. I'm a big fan, big, big fan, can't wait to see it when I go there live. Well, I can't be a big fan if I haven't seen it yet, but you know what I mean.